In this short tutorial, we're going to add items to reading list using the upload function. In order to add items to reading list, you need to click the add items button. You need to go to the create tab, but there's also a search tab, a my collection tab. But in order to upload a reading to a reading list, we use, we use the create tab. Now there's two ways to upload a reading to a reading list. One is by dropping and dragging your files here into this box. Alternatively, you just click in the box, browse the folder where your item is, click on the folder and open it, and it should download. Now, it will also download any metadata that is embedded, in this case, the title. It is important to make sure that the type of article appears so that students know exactly what they're looking for. In this case, it's a government document, so I'm scrolling down through the drop-down menu and selecting government document. It's also a good idea to add the source. In this case, it's a government website. So I'm going to that website, selecting it, and adding the source in there. Students can save readings to a collection and also export the reading list in their preferred format, such as PDF or EndNote. So it's a good idea to have as much information as you can regarding the reference details for the reading for those students. So when they export it, they have enough information. In this case, I'm going to add the author field and the date field. So Victoria State Government. And date is 2016 and the publisher is the Victoria State Government. So you can choose to add a reading to a section such as the recommended readings or week one. In this case I've got no readings in week one so I'm going to select week one from the drop down menu, click add and there you can see that my reading is now uploaded.